So this is a container that has gas in it, right? Not fuel, air. Sideways, the seat's always going to be in the same position, right? So orient yourself. My exit is right here. Take my arm, reach out. There's my exit. Do you want to pull your exit hand back in after you've found where your exit point is? Absolutely not. Doing the egress trainer is an important qualification for the Marines because it puts them in a real type environment uh, for uh, situations that they could possibly find themselves in uh, doing their jobs, whether it be riding in a helicopter or as in today's class, uh, riding in it, being in an AAV, amphibious assault vehicle. The importance of the egress trainer uh, is for the Marines to put them in a real type scenario. Uh, it allows them to get viable information, uh, to be taught techniques that they could use if they were to uh, 
be in one of these vehicles where uh, if a mishap were to occur. Uh, what the Marines gain from these skills is just basic knowledge and information, things to think about uh, when they do get into the, be it an AAV or a Humvee or a helicopter, uh, techniques that they can use to get themselves out of um, any mishaps that they may find themselves in. There's no specific uh, requirements that are needed to operate with them. Uh, we take any Marines that, that come through that need our, that are It's an important qualification because it um, increases the survivability for anybody that is working either with helos, flying over water, AVs, or any type of wheeled vehicle that potentially could fall into a ravine. So it increases their survivability teaches them how to move, how to get the orientation, how to stay calm. It's a crawl, walk, run method. Uh, they start in the classroom, they get a period of instruction for uh, two to three hours, depending on which class it is. Uh, from there, we go to the pool, they learn how to breathe from an SCBD. Then we get them into the actual sweat chair where they uh, practice the movements of getting out to eventually move on to the device. The biggest thing that we have, since we're breathing compressed air, is exhaling on the way out. Uh, due to Boyle's law. So that's part of the class. We let them know how important it is for them to breathe out as they're coming up. Here at the pool, they're working around four to six feet of, of depth. But in reality, they could be several um, feet down below. So they got to make sure they exhale on the way up so they can protect the lungs. Every class is different. Uh, every, every unit's different. Uh, the more we cover in the classroom, the easier it is when we get to the uh, actual deep end or to the pool. So we try to give them every single tool that they need so they can accomplish their mission. Doing the egress trainer is an important qualification uh, because it allows Marines to get familiar uh, in the water and that way in case the worst case scenario happens and an AAV uh, sinks or helo sinks, uh, they can be more comfortable maneuvering in the water. Uh, it's important for them to go through the egress trainer that way um, Commanders know that they're actually proficient in the water and that um, they'll be as safe as possible. So the egress trainer requires you to take about a two hour class uh, followed by a test and then you break and you go actually into the pool and uh, do a crawl walk run method of going in the sweat chair which just gets you comfortable flipping upside down in the water, gets you uh, used to using the breathing apparatus and then you actually go into the dunker which uh, they take you through a series of steps of the track sinking and the track flipping over 90 degrees and then the track sinking and flipping over to 180 degrees uh, and you practice getting out into all those situations.